Hi, I'm Josh, a co-founder of Woodland Mills, and this is our full-length product video of the TF68 Pro PTO-driven wood chipper. In these full-length videos, we like to start with tractor compatibility and required horsepower. Then we're gonna go into an in-depth product walk around and show you all the components and features of the chipper that make this TF68 a pro series. From there, we'll touch on the assembly process and the time it takes to get it out of the crate and ready for use. We'll look at the crate's dimensions, sizes, and weights. And we'll finish with how the TF68 Pro is shipped and delivered to your driveway if you were to place an order for one. For compatibility, the TF68 Pro was designed for tractors between 20 and 50 PTO horsepower. Because of its 800 pound product weight, confirming that your tractor's three point hitch assembly can lift it will allow you to move it around on your property. The three point hitch is a category one that is quick hitch compatible with two upper pin locations. We include a PTO shaft, which is trimmable in length to match the chipper to your tractor and that process is covered in the manual. This PTO shaft is also shear pin protected and includes safety chains to keep the outer sheath stationary while the chipper is in use. The PTO shaft connects here to the main shaft of the chipper. This has got a six blind connector on it and it carries through to the two inch main shaft that drives the primary flywheel. Once we connect the PTO shaft, we're gonna take the tractor's horsepower and torque and we're gonna transfer it directly at the 540 RPMs to the chipper's main drive shaft. This main drive shaft carries the chipper's primary flywheel, which is holding the blades, and it's responsible for making the wood chips. This is over 90% of the work this chipper needs to do. Below, we'll see two V-belts that are gonna bring the tractor's 540 RPMs down to drive our hydraulic pump. That's part of our self-contained hydraulic infeed system. And then we'll see a secondary cast iron pulley which is gonna speed the RPMs up and bring it back up to our secondary flywheel that is doing the other 10% of the work by making the airflow and throwing those chips. Our Pro Series chippers include an onboard chainsaw holder that's got nylon slides that are adjustable so you can customize it to fit your chainsaw bar. I wanna talk about a wood chipper's two primary functions. The first function is to cut the branches and make those wood chips. And the second function is to throw those wood chips and create an airflow. Traditionally in wood chippers, those paddles that generate the airflow and throw the chips are welded directly to the primary cutting flywheel. Our patented twin flywheel technology utilizes two flywheels, allowing us to separate the speeds and run them independent of each other. Our primary flywheel is running at the tractor's 540 RPMs, preserving your tractor's horsepower and torque. And then the secondary flywheel is sped up with a series of belts and pulleys to bring it up to an ideal speed for throwing those chips and creating that airflow, which you'll see in the chip stream when we run this chipper. primary flywheel is 24 inches in diameter and three quarters of an inch thick. It carries four blades, which are CNC pocketed into the flywheel. These blades are reversible. So you have a cutting edge on both sides if they dull. The primary flywheel rides on a two inch main shaft. That two inch main shaft is carried by large flange bearings at both the front and the rear of the chipper that have a grease fitting for maintenance. We have a locking pin, which is gonna allow us to lock out the rotation of the flywheel when we're servicing the chipper or changing the blades. The secondary flywheel with its four paddle design is running concentrically around the main drive shaft. This allows us to speed it up to over two times the speed of the primary flywheel, generating that increased airflow and increase throwing capacity to get that lightweight and leafy material out of the wood chipper. A 
as I close up the clamshell, I want to talk about our discharge chute, which carries the chips in the airflow. Now this is 360 degrees rotatable with a locking pin to hold it at your desired angle. And on the end here, we have a chip deflector that allows us to position those chips either close to the wood chipper or get them as far away as possible by locking that in place. Next, I want to talk about our hydraulic infeed system. Because this system is self-contained, it starts with a hydraulic fluid reservoir. This reservoir holds five gallons of hydraulic fluid, which can be sourced locally. The pump then draws with an intake line from this reservoir, creating the pressure. And that pressure is fed up to our directional control valve, which gives us a forward, neutral, and reversing action on the infeed roller. From there, the pressure is brought up and in the forward direction, we have a flow control valve. The flow control valve, with its range of operation, controls the speed the infeed roller pushes that material into the wood chipper, allowing you to balance the tractor's horsepower with the size of material you're feeding into it. From the flow control, we have the drive motor that is directly connected to the infeed roller itself. Now that's an eight inch diameter infeed roller at eight inches in width, and it has chisel knives welded to it to provide the grip on the branches as they're fed into the chipper. With our Pro Series, we use a pair of stainless steel gas charge springs to keep even pressure on the roller and also provide a dampening effect to keep that constant contact as it feeds the material into the wood chipper. Now I want to talk about the infeed, starting with the red bar. Now the red bar gives us our connection to that directional control, and that's going to give us our forward, neutral, and reverse positions, allowing us to control the direction the material is being fed in, but it also works as a safety stop along the bottom edge of the infeed chute. The infeed opening is 26 inches wide and 26 inches high. And the entire rim is done in a solid three quarter inch thick steel bar. We do this for rigidity of the infeed opening, but it also gives us a rounded edge to help guide the material as it's pulled into the wood chipper. Underneath the infeed chute, we're gonna see two draw latches, and these are used to lock the infeed in place. But with these released, it becomes foldable, and we can fold the infeed chute up and rest it on a rubber pad here on the swing arm. In its folded position, it has a reduced footprint for storage, and it also makes it much more compact when bringing it through the forest on the back of the tractor. With the infeed chute folded up, we can now see the storage position of the control bar linkage, and we also get a clear view of our safety curtains. These are clear, and they prevent dust and debris from coming back at the user while you're using the chipper. As we come around the other side, I want to kneel down and show you the bearing that is holding the other end of the infeed roller. This is a two bolt flange bearing. It's got a grease fitting for maintenance. You'll see that second gas charge spring. Next, I want to show you the bed plate. Now the bed plate acts as a stationary edge. So when the blades come around on the primary flywheel, it gives that second edge to make the cut similar to a pair of scissors. The bed plate is adjustable to account for both wear and resharpening of the blades. And because of that, we provide a window so you have a clear line of sight in to see that gap between the blades and the bed plate. Further, we provide a tool to aid in setting that gap correctly. The tool can be found in the manual tube here at the back of the chipper. You'll also find the operator's manual which is gonna cover the assembly process, as well as safe operation of the chipper and its maintenance. Additionally, you'll find the hardware for assembly. Now, because the chipper comes 90% assembled, the assembly process takes about two hours with common hand tools, and it consists of building up the infeed chute, 
attaching the gray bar and red bar, as well as installing the discharge chute on the chipper. Further to that, the hydraulic fluid then gets added, and then we're gonna take measurements and see if the PTO shaft needs to be trimmed as per the manual to connect the chipper to your tractor. Once connected, you can lift the chipper up off the base crate and you're ready for use. With a product weight of 800 pounds, the chipper ships in a steel crate, bringing its total shipping weight up to 915 pounds. The crate itself is 46 inches wide, 34 inches deep, and 43 inches high. And because of this size and weight, we ship it on a transport truck with a power tailgate service where available to get it down to the ground for a curbside delivery. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the TF68 Pro PTO driven wood chipper. For more information, please give us a call or check us out online. This has been Josh with Woodland Mills. Thank you for watching.